Uh, so we're here at the Maxim stand, and I I'm probably I was really ignorant. I didn't realise that Maxim owns a multitude of cartridge brands that we all know, and they're actually all produced by the same people. Yeah, you're right. So Maxim is a Spanish corporation. We have several uh, businesses, you know, but one of them is outdoors. And in outdoors, we produce a lot of soft cells. We are specialized in soft cells, and we develop products and their whole brands. That is Saga, Rio, GB, and Illipop. Yeah. So Illipop is the natural brand for United Kingdom. Yep. And but uh, the four brands are commercialized, you know, yep. in almost 100 countries. In so the, the same technology goes into most of them, yeah. Or is there a there is no, a peak one? No, we, we have a specific components and we have different locations when we produce. I mean, in Orillihawk we have um, a plant located in Birmingham, yep. and we produce uh, most of cartridges of Orillihawk there. Yeah. And in the case of the other brands, we have different locations and different yeah. brands. We produce our powder even in Gatacano, for instance. Yeah. And later in Vitoria, we produce soft cells. Uh, so we have we have different, uh, let's say, facilities, you know, yeah. and we have different components and different technologies for each brand. Very nice, very nice. So it is your company that is the proponent of the water degradable Absolutely. plastic world? Yeah, yeah. I think that this is the moment because you know society is very sensitive with this uh, issue, and this year we are launching the. Um, and the new shock cell containing uh, biodegradable, hydrodegradable, non-toxic, and also compostable water. So for us, the, the combination of this kind of water plus a steel pellet is the best way you know, to, yeah. to face the challenge that we have with the sustainable demands. Oh, I think that's really very clever, it really yeah. is. So how long do they take to degrade? Uh, it depends. It depends on many factors. Okay. You know, it depends on temperature, it depends on if it's raining or not. Um, so, but normally, I mean, normally, if you introduce the water, you know, in a glass of water, normally in 24 hours, um, the water um, is transformed, you know, into something that is a strange to, <laughs> to describe. Oh, is that? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's that. And how long has that been in there? It's less than 24 hours. Oh, wow. Let's go have a look at that. In only 12 hours, this is the degradation yep. that the water is experiencing. And normally in 24 hours, you know, in regular conditions, um, the water is almost disappearing. Wow. But, but I, as I said before, it depends, you know, on temperature, um, yeah. how, how much water, you know, um, there are around the water. Or, so it depends. And how do they perform on a level with regular plastic? Yeah, the, the performance uh, with, with the steel pellets, the yep. performance is almost uh, the same than, than lead or regular plastic. I oh, mean. wow. Yeah. So this is something that is very important for us. Uh, when we develop the cartridge, we um, uh, tested, you know, several times the ballistic properties of the cartridge. And what we are introducing in the market is a cartridge that performs exactly the same as the regular one. They're very nice. I can't wait to get my hands on some, actually. Very impressive. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. Very impressive. And they, so they'll be in steel and lead? Yeah, but right now, um, the launch is only focused on steel. Yeah. Okay? Uh, we are working on how to increase the range of products and to include also bismuth, air, lead, and, and other materials. Okay. So I even the, the Ely ones will start with steel mm -hmm. and lead into lead later? Yeah. Awesome. But I think that this is an answer of how, how to provide, you know, sustainable products to the consumers. And in our opinion, you know, the combination of a biodegradable wood plus a steel pellet is the, it's is the, the best. It's the double whammy. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's the best combination, okay? Can I touch it? Why not? Even you can drink the water. Wow. It's not toxic. No? Not probably, at all. Probably it's not nice, you know, I mean yeah, in terms yeah. of flavor, you know, but <laughs> you, can, you can drink the water and it's not toxic. What is it made of? Or is this top secret? Is uh, it's, it's secret. I mean, okay. it's, it's, it's natural. It's natural um, 
uh, okay, raw so materials. Put, yeah, so know. it is completely natural. Yeah, completely wow. natural. Wow, that is awesome. And I've got wet hands now, but yeah. thank you very much. Thank My you pleasure. very much. That's and, and thank you very much for this technology. This is, it's about time. It is about time. That's awesome. In 12 hours. Yeah, 12 hours. This is incredible. This is because Ely's marketing is really poor. Yeah, but this is. All they've said is this is this is it. We'll get a box. We're going to go out and shoot them. Yeah. I'm not a steel fan. No, not am I. I say that I've shot. I, we're, I think we're stuck like. To, so Nick Horton, who we do all the wildfowling stuff with, is a huge proponent of steel. Yeah. Says it's the best. Says it kills just as well. Just you're, you're 10 yards behind. Yeah. Uh, 40 yards. So instead of 50 yards killing, you're at 40 yards killing. Yeah. I'd give it a go with steel. Yeah. Like I said, it gives you that double whammy, doesn't it? It's the, I am conscience clean. Yeah, I am completely green. I'm a yeah. green shooter. Yeah, and I'm getting my diesel truck and <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> kill some animals. But you're doing your bit. So if you remember this morning, we were with Rio. Or yeah the company that owns Rio and Ely and such, uh, and talking to them about their, their new biodegradable, water-soluble plastic rod. Yeah. And we're walking along and we stopped with bio ammo. Um, so we thought we'd tap them up and see whether it was the same product or whether it was something completely different. And obviously taking it with a pinch of salt, however, what he said was very convincing, is that what they use is not biodegradable, it's water-soluble. The plastic that is made in the Ely cartridges is water soluble but it doesn't go anywhere. This is it. It breaks so, down from being a solid component into water. chemicals yeah. and water. And there is bacteria that eat it but only in a lab environment. Whereas these guys make their own plastic out of completely natural fibers. Yeah. If you throw the case on the floor, it will disappear because the case is made of the same plastic the wad is. And it will break down. But you can leave it in water you can get it wet and it will not start to break down yeah. as Ely does. So it's, it's bacteria that break this down, not water soluble not like the other one. So it may take a little longer, who's saying? Yeah. To disappear completely. However, it will disappear completely. The you whole can, unit disappears. You can eject a cartridge, come back a year later, there'll be nothing. A cartridge, a shell, a case. The bane of your life, you're walking along, oh Christ, that's from two years ago, and you put it in your pocket. Yeah. This is. I mean, I don't know, I, I believed him. I did. He, he presented yeah. the facts. He didn't poo-poo them. He just said they're maybe being a little naughty with the way they're presenting it to people. Yeah. Plus, their boxes are more pretty. Yeah. And I, I really think that they're onto something here. I think this is probably the better way to go. Regardless of the technology either of them use, putting that technology into the case completely, Yeah. that's where it's at. It, it's a bit like, it's, it's having a hybrid car. Hybrid car, yeah, it's electric, but you're also using diesel. This is, this is a purely electric car, right? Yeah. This is, this is green. Yeah, the, the difference between saving a little bit of what that comes out yeah. and lands in the middle of the field. And then to, taking your case home and binning it. Yeah, you get rid of the whole lot. Yeah. Everything, gone. I, I genuinely think it's good. More importantly, they're gonna start with lead and then lead into steel, where the other guys are gonna do steel and lead into lead. Yeah. Which we all want later. Because he's clearly, the owner is clearly a scientist. Yeah. You know, he's got a huge passion in the project and his, his findings, as most people's findings are, is that lead is not toxic. So whilst we can use it, he will use it. Yeah. And as such, you can use biodegradable armor on high pheasants with better efficacy than you can steel. Yeah. And he said he will, they will make these cartridges to perform how we want them to perform. So if you put in a big enough order, they will they make will. you the ultimate high pheasant load, yeah. sealed end wads, superb punching patterns. It's. I'm what? more excited about this. Watch this space, I say, yeah. yeah. Watch this space, this could be good. However, Ely will hit the market, or he has almost hit the market. These guys, it's going to be September. So they've built an entire factory purely for production of these. More importantly, is they're pitching this in a complete mid range. So, although figures obviously are kind of difficult because it will have to come in for a distributor and so on and so forth, but they're kind of going to be looking at about, for clay loads, 240 to 250 a thousand yeah. for a quality biodegradable plastic board and plastic shell. That is... Why would you buy... If you not. care about the environment, if you're a hunter yeah. who goes on, I care about the environment, you 
you've got to take, you've got to, you've got to lead with your ideals. You've got to work with them. You can't, if, if that's the case, what's a game load going to be? 450, 1,000? It's yeah. not, it's not killer. It's not. If it, if it was, if they were six looking at doing this and it was going to be six, seven, eight hundred pounds, you would be thinking, oh, I can't really afford that. I really want to do it, but I can't afford it. Whereas with this, in the middle of the market, why wouldn't you? And if you're saying that they perform as good as they do, they perform as a top-end plastic wad would, then you really are winning. You're paying a little more than fiber for plastic performance that you can shoot anywhere. And you're saving the planet. Yeah. I, this is, this is, I like this greenness. This is good. Good idea. Step in the right direction. Very much so.